Hi my dear parents and students. This episode is about the NEET exam. The National Entrance Cum Eligibility Test for the undergraduate and postgraduate medical courses. Couple of issues are being discussed across the country. One main question is whether the NEET exam will be cancelled in Tamil Nadu or in any other state or across the country. The second issue that is being debated is what is the need for the NEET entrance and eligibility test. Were we not producing quality doctors before the NEET exam? The, the next issue that is being discussed is what about rural areas where students cannot afford the NEET coaching? Are we not depriving them of the um, opportunity to become doctors? I will try to answer some of these questions uh, so that um, uh, we have clarity on this. Before I go into the uh, episode, I want to briefly give you the situation before the NEET was introduced and after the NEET exam was introduced and the history of the NEET. I will try to restrict this episode as short as possible but I need to give you certain very relevant facts. Before the NEET came into existence, the situation was there were a lot of medical colleges government and private and each medical college especially the self-financed medical colleges had their own way of filling their seats but there was a quota of 15 percent which the private self-financed medical colleges should surrender to the central pool so the students across the country can take what is called AIPMT, All India Pre-Medical Test and get selected on merit basis. So there was a test which was being conducted on an All India level like NEET. I will give an example. Supposing I am the owner of a medical college, private medical college and I have 100 seats in MBBS. I should surrender 15 of the 100 seats to the central pool. Like that if there are 100 medical colleges, each of the medical colleges having 100 seats, they should surrender 15 seats to the central pool. So 15 into 100, 1500 medical seats will be available for any student across the country to take the All India Pre-Medical Test and get an MBBS seat. Balance 85 percent of the seats, the private medical colleges can decide to give on their own. They can have their own regulations. They can have their own um, way of filling up these seats. They can have their own entrance exam. They can have their own fee structure, everything. Now, supposing as a student, I want to apply for a medical seat out of uh, about let us say 10 medical colleges in my area. I can choose 5 and I should appear for the entrance exam of the 5 medical colleges separately. Those entrance exams will not be uniform. It will be that college specific. So I need to write 5 entrance exams and the colleges can decide their own fee structure capitation fee anything this is the situation before the NEET now after the NEET exam the students have to take the NEET entrance come eligibility test and they should score minimum 50 percent in plus two to become eligible to take the NEET exam and they and this NEET score is uniform across the country 
and the private medical colleges as well as government medical college should accept the need score as final before the need the plus 2 mark was the criteria plus whatever the rules and regulations of the private medical colleges after the need plus 2 mark is only for the eligibility to take neat exam but the need score is the final and after the need the medical council of india will also give guidelines to the self financed medical colleges with regard to their fee structure capitation fee everything so this is the difference now i will go into the history in 1956 the government of india enacted what is called the medical councils act 1956 the medical council of india regulated the standard of medical education and it gave the permission to start medical colleges it regulated the courses and also the number of seats registration of doctors and what are the standards of professional conduct by the doctors so the medical council of india only gave license to start medical colleges that's all the power given in order to understand the need we need to understand one more event which took place the indian constitution has seventh schedule and in the seventh schedule there are what is called union list state list and concurrent list union list is a category of areas where the government of india can enact law the state list or the list of areas where the state government can enact law and there is a concurrent list and there is a concurrent list where both the central government and the state government can enact law in 1976 by the 42nd amendment the education which was in the state list was transferred to the concurrent list not only education um also forestry wildlife bird protection administration of justice and weights and measures were transferred to the concurrent list why am i mentioning this lot of states are questioning how can the education be transferred from the state list to the concurrent list this was done in 1976 during the emergency period of indira gandhi government so the amendment which is brought into the medical college admission by way of neat is constitutional because the central government has power to regulate the 42nd amendment also introduced the word sovereign socialist secular democratic republic earlier it was only sovereign democratic republic so the 42nd amendment is a major amendment it is also called the mini constitution if the education was not brought under the concurrent list during the 1976 period even the right to education act of 2009 would not have been possible so this is another input okay neat was originally proposed in 2012 by the medical council of india but for some reason it was deferred by an year and the first neat exam was conducted on sunday the 5th may 2013 when the congress government was in power and when dr manmohan singh was the prime minister of india that is the first neat exam which was conducted 115 private medical colleges questioned this in the supreme court and on 18th july 2013 the supreme court held that the neat exam is unconstitutional and struck down when on 18th july 2013 the medical council of india appealed to the supreme court against the judgment 
of 2013 July, the Medical Council of India questioned the uh, decision of the Supreme Court and on 11th April 2016, a five-member judge of the constitutional bench of the Supreme Court recalled the earlier judgment of 2013 in the history of the Supreme Court. It's one of the rarest events when the Supreme Court did not reverse the earlier judgment but recalled saying that it is a wrong judgment and so gave the power to the Medical Council of India to go ahead and conduct a common entrance test. In the meantime, even in 2012 and 13, when the Medical Council of India proposed a uniform countrywide entrance test, keeping in view the different areas of medical education, they prescribed after going through the CBSE syllabus, state board syllabus and all the board syllabus available in the country, it prescribed three subjects to be covered under the NEET exam, physics, chemistry and biology. Topics were given. In plus one, what are the topics or the 11th standard and plus two or the 12th standard, what are the topics and it also prescribed the way the question paper will be uh, formed. So when 2012-2013, this was the situation. Then of course I told you about how the uh, judgment came against the MCI and how the MCI went ahead, uh, got a judgment in favor of the NEET exam. In the meantime, an ordinance was pronounced on 24th May 2016 called the Indian Medical Council Amendment Ordinance was promulgated and that ordinance gave power to the Medical Council of India for the following one to regulate the standard of medical education number two give permission to start medical colleges courses or increase the number of seats three registration of doctors for setting standards of professional conduct of medical professionals and for the first time an ord the ordinance also introduced a common entrance exam to all medical colleges under uh, graduate as well as postgraduate. This ordinance lapsed but the government introduced a bill called the Indian Medical Council Amendment Bill with the same content of the ordinance and the bill was passed in the Lok Sabha on 19th July 2016 and it passed the Rajya Sabha on 1st of July 2016 and it received President's assent on 4th August 2016. So the bill was passed in Lok Sabha about 10 days later passed the Rajya Sabha and on 4th of August 2016 the President of India also gave the consent. So the NEET exam was blessed by the Parliament as well as by the Supreme Court. At the same time the bill said the states which are not ready yet for the NEET exam in those states for the year 2016-17, they can decide to have their own method of admission for the medical colleges, but next year they should fall in line. Now, so this is the history. So from 2016-17, NEET has come into existence. In between 2013 and 2016, many states in India reviewed their syllabus for plus 1 and plus 2 or 11th and 12th and adopted the syllabus recommended by the Medical Council of India and integrated it into plus 1 plus 2. Some states including Tamil Nadu did not do that. The Medical Council of India very clearly said for the NEET exam 11th syllabus and 12th syllabus will be taken into account. Unfortunately, in the state of Tamil Nadu and in some other states also, but predominantly in the state of Tamil Nadu, 
some of the state board schools completely ignored the 11th portions and completed only or focused only on the 12th portion. So when the students appeared in 2017 for the NEET exam, these students were taken by surprise that out of 720 marks, 360 marks were from the plus one syllabus or 11th syllabus. Consequently, many students, especially from the state board, uh, could not clear and many unfortunate things happened in the state. Today, the bone of contention in Tamil Nadu especially is whether the NEET exam will be cancelled, at least in Tamil Nadu. The answer is no. Because as I said, the NEET uh, is a result of the Supreme Court judgment in 2016. And it is the result of a parliament law which received the uh, which was passed by the Lok Sabha as well as Rajya Sabha and received the president consent and it has come to stay. There is no other alternative. In between, sometime a couple of years ago, the Tamil Nadu Assembly passed a law uh, cancelling NEET exam for Tamil Nadu and sent it for president's approval. The law as it stands today is when a subject is there in the concurrent list if there are two different laws passed by the central government and the state government which are against each other the law passed by the central government will prevail so today as i could see as an educationist and as a lawyer there is no scope for cancelling NEET exam in Tamil Nadu or for that matter any state. So let the parents and students understand the situation and not be carried away by some promises given which was a fact in 2017 and on. Let us be very very clear NEET exam has come to say and the student should get ready. And in my earlier episodes I made it very very clear the NEET exam is only an eligibility test, it is not an elimination test. On one hand, if you keep the joint entrance exam for IITs and UPSC exam and CLAT exam and CA foundation and on the other hand, if you put the NEET exam is very very easy. It simply says give a thorough reading of the NCERT type of syllabus for plus 1 and plus 2 or 11th and 12th and you can easily clear the NEET exam. The last three years the government of Tamil Nadu, the Ministry of Education has done a wonderful job in revising the state board syllabus on par with the NCRT taking into account the recommendation of the Medical Council of India for the NEET syllabus and last year the Tamil Nadu state board students scored very well much better than even the CBC students. Now the parents have accepted NEET as the only way. The advantage in the NEET exam is earlier, if a student could not get good mark in plus two for some reason, his dream for becoming a doctor is gone. But now after the NEET, the student is given three attempts. He can improve his performance. Like in UPSC civil services, a student is given a couple of chances to clear the civil services exam. Even in NEET, he can write again. Three times he can write and get into medical colleges. And even if I am an owner of a medical college, my son cannot get into the medical college unless he clears the eligibility test. So my dear students and parents, NEET has come to stay and it is not very difficult to crack. All that is required is complete seriousness and thorough reading of uh, plus 1 and plus 2 or 11th and 12th uh, uh, biology, chemistry and physics. You can easily clear. And if you miss it, you can always uh, write it once again. And over a period of time, students will clear in the first attempt itself because after a very long time, after nine, from 1956 to nearly 2016, first time the NEET was introduced. So there was some confusion. Now the confusion is all settled. 
So my dear students and my dear parents, let us accept this is the reality and um, get ready. As simple as that. All the best. SRM JV is not just a school, it's a one-time experience. William Nagar, Kirvalur, 